Many experts thought that home prices would keep on decreasing, but due to the low inventory scenario, we are seeing that prices haven't really dropped, even though the interest rates are still pretty high. My name is Clemens Ruas with the Romero Ruas Group at Berkshire Hathaway, and this is the May San Diego County real estate market update. All right, so for interest rates, interest rates actually increased to 6.39% for a 30-year fixed mortgage. We're about 6.28% last month, and we're about 5.27% last year. So you can see that the Federal Reserve is more confident about increasing their target rate because of the strong economic numbers to try to tackle that inflation. The good news on the flip side is that it is forecasted that the interest rates will fall below 6%, hopefully by the end of this year, maybe around 5.5% even. Bad news is that as lower the interest rates, the more buyers come into the market. So with an already tight inventory market, that will um, exacerbate, obviously, the multiple offers and the competition for the properties. And with inventory as low as it is, we actually saw a decrease again, 14% from last month. Um, but at the same time last year, you can see that there was a 25% increase instead of a decrease. Typically, this time of year, we see more inventory or at least inventory start picking up. And that is not the case. So hopefully by the next couple of months, we can see an uptick in inventory because right now we are dealing with multiple offer. Um, again, we're 43% less in inventory than we had last year. Pending sales actually remained around the same, but roughly about 1.13% less than we had last month. Compared to that same time last year, there was a 15% drop. This was be because interest rates were beginning to increase, so buyers were coming out of the market and canceling purchases. Uh, we are about 28% less in sales than we had last year. Obviously, that's a combination of both higher interest rates and low inventory. If there's more properties, you see the sales would increase because the buyers would be able to find what they're looking for. And for prices, we saw an increase about 3% to $549 a square foot for a single family detached in San Diego County. And uh, compared to the same time last year, that's a 3.2% increase. We're about 5.8% less in price than we were last year. But again, remember in December, we were about 14% less from its peak. So that we can see that there was a significant increase from uh, December to April. And uh, market time, we saw a dip about 25% to 23 days on the market. Again, this is extremely low. Properties are selling fast. We are seeing multiple offers. Obviously, the lower the price range, the more offers that, that homes are getting. So you have to be competitive on your offer. Make sure to get reduced uh, contingency periods and, and closing as well. Compared at the same time last year, there was a 7.6% drop in the market time to around 12 days. Obviously, that is 91% faster than we are uh, right now, but still very competitive market. As you can see from the list of sales price ratio, if you put a property on the market, you're pretty much going to get your asking price 100%. Uh, that is up from 99.2% in March. And we are still down from April from 105 but. I honestly don't want to see that number because it's very competitive for buyers out there. Again, luxury sales decreased about 6.2 from last month. We're about 13% less in sales than we are last year. And luxury inventory saw a 1% decrease. Again, very little inventory in this time of the year. We usually see an uptick in inventory, and that is not the case. We're about 11% less in inventory than we had last year. And thank you very much for watching the Real Estate Market Update. If you have any questions, please uh, contact us. And uh, don't forget to connect with us uh, through social media. If you want a specific report on your community, please let us know. And we can definitely send one your way. And again, don't forget to track your home's value at www.mysandiegovalue.com. Thank you very much for watching and see you next month for the next Real Estate Market Update.